A.O. Cortez running her mouth about victimhood and being a survivor from that January 6th attack. <laughs> and Rhino Adam Kinzinger started a pack to attack anyone who doesn't sufficiently smear President Trump. And there are more riot, capital, capital riot prosecutions coming. This is the end of hour one of the Jesse Lee Peterson Show. It is Tuesday, January February 2nd, 2021. Stay tuned for hour two. Jesse Lee Peterson will be right back. But first, fake news, not fake news. Evil liar A.O. Cortez. Yesterday, Representative Alexandria Ocasio Cortez, the Democrat from New York, socialist, chronicled her supposed experience, the January 6th riot in the Capitol. During a nearly 90-minute, hour-and-a-half Instagram live video, she claimed to have hidden in a bathroom while a man shouted outside, Where is she? (laughs) Yeah, right. She described seeing a Capitol Police officer and not knowing if he was there to protect or harm her. (laughs) Crazy imagination on that woman, right? She said it's like that for so many other communities in the country where the presence of police doesn't necessarily signal safety. What an evil liar, huh? She also came forward as a so-called sexual assault survivor. Wow. Me too, all over again. She said that those who are telling her and others to move on that from that day are using the tactics of abusers. <laughs> She's the abuser. This female congressman, Cortez, is doubling down too. She said that Republican lawmakers who've supported former president, real president Donald J. Trump, His baseless claims of election fraud, which is the media, liberal media buzz phrase, must be held accountable for the Capitol riots. She claimed they endanger the lives of others by continuing to hold positions of power. I told you that she called on Ted Cruz to resign. The skim reports that tens of thousands of registered Republicans have reportedly switched parties to what? Democrats? Rhinos exposed, right? Flush them out. I'm fine with that. Dozens of former officials in the Bush administration reportedly quitting as well. There's a bunch of drama over Georgia Republican Marjorie Taylor Greene, fake outrage about mass shootings, Q, racist, inflammatory, and false statements as if her detractors are so honest they're not. She's a woman, a little nutty and off, but, I mean, the weak Republicans and Black Lives Matter and Democrats are pure evil. So that includes Pelosi, McConnell, Rob Portman, the Ohio rhino. So give me a break. Rhinos are attacking Trump supporters, including Adam Kinzinger. Did you know that Adam Kinzinger, or Jer, was a Tea Party Republican back in the day? This guy is 42 years old, and he hates real President Trump. I think he didn't vote for him. He was once part of the 2010 class of Tea Party Republicans, exposed as a fake. Fake uh, Washington Compost reported on his launching of this pack. He went on NBC to announce the deceptively named Country First Pack, and he put out a video on Vimeo. Cringy. He attacked Marjorie Taylor Greene and Kevin McCarthy for not smearing President Trump enough, and called Jim Jordan types, Jim Jordan is supposedly a Trump supporter, uh, congressman, political terrorists, whatever that means. He sounds just like Joe Biden calling the Tea Party terrorists back in 2011. He said the push is not really about ideology as much as driving conspiracy theorists and racists out of the GOP. Would we lose the Proud Boys? Maybe. I'm fine with that. That's what Adam Kinzinger, former so-called Tea Party guy, said. Sounds just like the so-called Tea Party Paul Ryan, right? Paul Ryan? I don't know. Two men were arrested in Kentucky over the U.S. Capitol breach, according to the FBI, the far-left FBI. According to the Epic Times, Dalton Ray Crass, or Crace, and Troy Dylan Williams have been charged with aiding and abetting, unlawful entry on restricted grounds, and violent entry or disorderly conduct on Capitol grounds, according to the FBI. A third guy joined them to protest in Washington, D.C. They traveled, but he fell sick. So he was saved, I guess. Troy Dillon Williams told investigators that he initially had no intentions of going into the Capitol building, but only went inside after he saw other people doing it. Herd mentality, he said. Late last month, the DOJ announced that they were arrested two members of Proud Boys, Dominic Pezzola, 43, and William Pepe, (laughs) 31. What a shame. Both of New York. I'm James Hake, now into Jesse Hour 2.